bo mmale botate molokoloko wa dirutege o tlatsana monakwaneng ye kopana le gopelwa go ema dames en here die akademiese prosessie sal nou in beweeg u word versoek om asseblief op te staan ladies and gentlemen the academic procession will now enter you are kindly requested to stand Take your seats. By the power vested in me, I hereby constitute this assembly as a legal congregation of the University of Pretoria. During this assembly, Diplomas will be awarded on the candidates whose names appear in the program. Ladies and gentlemen, we request you to join us in a silent prayer or meditation to give thanks for the achievements of our students. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of Pretoria, I extend a hearty word of welcome to you at this graduation ceremony. I would like to welcome the following the Dean Professor Maurice Mtombeni, the Director of Department of Enrollment and Student Administration, Dr. Sila Maybeck, Chairpersons of Schools, Heads of Departments, Directors, Emeriti, and Honorary Professors and other lecturers and their spouses or partners. Representative of the Student Council who will represent the SRC, academic honorary colors. All persons to whom diplomas will be awarded this morning. All spouses, partners, parents, and other parties, as well as dignitaries who we may not be aware of. I'll now make a, an ad, a graduation address. Deputy Vice Chancellors, Deans and Academic prof and, and Professional Services staff, our soon to be graduates, parents, guidance, partners, and friends. It is my great honor to welcome you to, to you all to this much anticipated day, the 2022 autumn graduation ceremony at the University of Pretoria. It's been a long wait to be able to gather together in person for graduation. 
and it is a wonderful to be here. This happens to be our first graduation of this season, so you are pioneers of the post-COVID era. We also warmly welcome all of you who are part of this ceremony online. Uh, we now live in a hybrid world, another face in a post-COVID era. The soon-to-be graduates here today personify the triumph of the human spirit, endurance, and commitment to getting over the finishing line. Speaking on behalf of the entire university, we could not be more proud of you. You have come through the most difficult of times, including the pandemic and the turbulent state of our economy, society, and world. The mountains you have climbed to get here today will most certainly stand you in excellent stead for many shifts, disruptions, challenges, and changes that you'll face as part of li life and living. What you have achieved, a qualification from the University of Pretoria, a leading university in South Africa and the world, will be your passport to an exciting future. A university quali qualification enables social, economic, and knowledge mobility. It takes people out of poverty and has a wide-ranging positive impact on society. Education is the only way to achieve this. Show me a country where people are uneducated and unskilled, and it is a sustainable and, develop, and developed country. There is none, and there is a good reason for this. Education is the sustainability of our societies. As your Vice Chancellor, despite all the challenges we have faced together and continue to face, I'm very excited about the future, as there is so much we can achieve and so much more we can do. There's no better time to think about where we've come from, where we are now, what our priorities and what our future looks like and holds for us. We ask these questions as individuals, and we ask this as a university community of which you will always be a part. Remember, post this graduation ceremony, you are now alumni of the university. I'm aware some of you might already be alumni, so you might be alumni times two, times three, or however many qualifications you have taken from us. Universities exist to examine and produce graduates who deeply understand the past and the present in order to proactively respond to the future. To live up to this, you need to be strongly experienced as key drivers and collaborative agents of ethical behavior, innovation, and change. This is especially so in these times of multiple emergencies, including the pandemic, the crisis of democracy, human rights, and the rule of law, and the assault on democracy in several African countries and around the world, including the democratic backslide in the United States and parts of Europe, Asia, and Latin America. These are disturbing times that require all of us to think and act globally. We need to rethink politics and national and global governance systems. University communities and their graduates who contribute to this knowledge are influencers of global politics and solution finders for the many wicked problems facing our country, our continent, and planet as expressed in the Sustainable Development Goals the African Agenda 2063, the Africa we want, and South Africa's National Development Plan. We need you to go out there and play your part in the co-evolving and co-creation of human rights, sustainable, genuine democracy, and environmental activism, and the innovation-driven knowledge economy represented by the quantiple helix. This elevates environmental sustainability as necessary to the transition of societies and economies if we are to shift ourselves away from the planetary tipping point. You have huge power in your hands. You are among only 12% of students in South Africa who gained access to university. And you are a graduate of UP. I mean, the most desired aspiration of all people on this planet. UP is one of the country's largest producers of graduates, representing 30.7% of the highly skilled workforce in Houghton, and 7.7% of the highly skilled workforce in South Africa. We are looking at ways of, of expanding this by 
checking in, more, giving access to more students by adding online only and lifelong learning programs, which will benefit all of you throughout your careers and your lives. It will also mean you might come here multiple times over your lifetime. The success of our students is paramount. The ongoing disruptive challenges, including technological transformations, have put an even greater premium on student success. Disruption has accelerated the technological curve of the fourth industrial revolution and society 5.0, characterized by use of digital technologies, multiple communication platforms and information systems across all sectors. This has normalized trends such as hybrid remote working or flexi working, e-commerce, automation and artificial intelligence, and of course online learning, which will persist and increase into the future with human ingenuity, hopefully using technology to help create a better, easier, and sustainable future for all. In an article on sustainability titled Society 5.0, a Japanese concept for super intelligent society, sustainability 2021, the article explains that in Society 5.0, all sorts of systems such as medicine, energy management, and transportation systems, among others, are connected for the mitigation of local and global pro problems. Coupled with disruptive technology, PWC's 2019 report entitled Workforce of the Future 2030, Global Trends Challenged by African Realities, lists the top generic skills for the future as sense-making, social intelligence, adaptive thinking, strong people management, group coordination, judgment, negotiation, decision-making skills, cross-cultural competencies, computational thinking, new media literacy, transdisciplinarity, a design mindset, and virtual collaboration. We hope that your education at UP has helped you develop many of these competencies together with entrepreneurial skills, now widely recognized as a critical component of higher education. In the superintelligence uh, uh, society article, it goes on to say that society 5.0 generates an environment with a strong, small, and medium-sized enterprise, SMEs movement. Partnerships, startups, and small business incubation can enable a new form of internationalization that provides huge potential for international cooperation and business growth. This speaks directly to your future careers. Being future focused is all about sustainability, the clarion call in the world today. At UP, our commitment to sustainability permeates all aspects of UP's culture. Key levers include driving a transdisciplinary agenda and culture of innovation across all university functions. The inherent complexity of societal challenges has given great impetus to this, and UP is at the forefront of transdisciplinary innovation through the establishment and development of centers, institutes, and platforms, such as the Future Africa Institute, the Javed UP Art Center, Engineering 4.0, Innovation Africa at UP, and the recently established Center for the Future of Work. We will continue to strengthen the university's reputation for novel research and innovation through our growing number of partnerships and by foregrounding transformation to achieve a diverse, inclusive, and equitable university community from the undergraduate level all the way to the postgraduate level at the highest level, the PhD. We are proud to say that access by previously excluded groups has progressively improved with the percentage of black undergraduate contact students increasing from 45.2% in 2012 to 61.5% in 2021. Similarly, for the same period, the proportion of black postgraduate students increased from 53.1% to 65.6% respectively. Not to mention, <laughs> not to mention that in terms of gender, 55% of our students are female. So we have achieved uh, gender equality. I, I'm not here to embarrass any gender or genders, but it is also true to those uh, traditionally called male 
you are not doing as well as women, but you are doing very well too. The percentage of black first time entering undergraduate students increased from 44.8% in 2012 to 63.0% in 2010 to 1. And enrollment in science, engineering, and technology study fees for black students increased from 48.1% to 59% respectively. A critical requirement is addressing societal gender imbalances, and we are constantly working on creating conditions for women to thrive academically in that they are doing, and also professionally to rise in the ranks of the university, particularly in the, professor, in the professoriate. We are therefore very pleased with the consistently high pass rates of our female students across our programs. The lower pass rate of males is a concern that the university is addressing. So gentlemen, I'll leave a chat with you outside. A huge area we've been actively and increasingly addressing is the gender-based violence pandemic in our society, which is not tolerated at UP, and something we trust that all our, our graduates, particularly our male graduates, will actively oppose whenever and wherever you experience it. We all need to strongly and sustainably confront issues of gender, sexual orientation, and race discrimination in our communities and empower vulnerable groups, especially women and girls, with avenues of safety and redress. As a university, we are actively engaging with our students and communities about GBV and we have programs and policies to address this. On the academic side, we are accelerating leadership training in the gender-based violence service sector. Another area we strongly focus on is a research-intensive university, as a research-intensive university is attracting and retaining academic staff with PhDs. The number of staff at UP with PhDs has increased by 14% over the past decade to the current level of 69.4%, which is the highest in South Africa and the highest in, Afri in, in, in the whole of the African continent. UP today is one of the highest producers of research compared to our South African peers. Our National Research Foundation, or NRF rated researchers, now at 595, is the highest number nationally, in other words, in South Africa. And our NRF A rated researchers are, by definition, unequivocally recognized as international scholars in their field for the high quality and impact of their research outputs. This year, three more of our professors got an A rating, so we have now 17 A rated professors from all fields across the humanities and the sciences. Universities today have to be international, nationally and internationally competitive, and you cannot maintain quality in a research poor environment. It directly affects the quality of what is being taught and weakens the entire university system. We are in committed to increasing our percentage of top researchers by proactively growing and supporting our doctoral and postdoctoral pipeline. They are invaluable to our university community, country, continent, and world, as they leverage their networks to build partnerships, they produce patents, turn their research finding into new growth areas for economies, and contribute to solutions for a better world. I'm extremely pleased to be able to share with you that from April 2022, the National Research Foundation will be partnering with NEFSAS to increase access to funding opportunities for postgraduate students based on financial need and academic performance. I am expecting your applications from this evening. This is part of and essential for the growth, diversification, and transformation of human capital in our country. Those of you wanting to pursue postgraduate studies can benefit from this. I mentioned that another recent development in our university is the establishment of the futuristic, yet maybe tautological, Center for the Future of Work, which is going to study and determine what we need to do to create a workforce of the future and to ensure that people can reskill and upskill for the future of work or work of the future and reimagine what the workplace of the future will look like. Future workplaces and future societies are not built on conventional thinking, nor are future solutions to human and global well-being. Strategies we adopt for a better world 
are not built on business as usual approaches. They require bold thinking and research and positive agile shifts. They require research voices of our universities and graduates to come to the fore with appropriate strategies and solutions. As a new generation of knowledge leaders in society, you are part of this journey, which demands excellency and creativity in every field. In closing, so that you get closer to getting your diploma and you don't say, when is it going to stop? I'm quoting Professor Peter Cochrane, OBE, from the University of Suffolk School of Engineering, Arts, Science and Technology, who says, I quote, I wasn't born to be a spectator just, in, just watching the world go by. I was born to be a doer, a change agent, an improver of the status quo. It's a fitting motto for you, our graduates. We wish you the greatest success and happiness in your lives, and we look forward to keeping in touch and to welcoming you to our alumni community. Thank you. I now request the Dean to introduce to me the candidates present whose names appear in the program. Mr. Dean, over to you. Good morning, Vice Chancellor. Good morning, graduates. And good morning, friends and family. Mr. Vice Chancellor and Principal, the following students have complied with all the requirements for the postgraduate diploma business administration. As the candidates appear before you, Vice Chancellor, they will respect the appropriate COVID protocols as they greet you on their way to the other side. This is Postgraduate Diploma in Business Administration. I don't have your name. Should be on the second sheet. I don't have your name. Please forgive me, Vice Chancellor. I can read out your name. Are you Thierry? Thierry. Right. Thierry Baranzika. You can turn around and have a picture taken and then move across. Thank you. Priscilla Benedict. Atia Baba. Eston Blumenthal. That's more like it. Let's celebrate. Please remember to stand and take a picture. Jared Boyd. Hi, Iman. Iman Karim. Tatenda. Chibisa. Congratulations. Malcolm Chigawa. Congratulations. Serena Raluca Chomze. Lisedi Tohang. Brett Cyrus. Uh, 
It's been a while since we've been here, so we're taking a while to get comfortable. Kaune di betwe. If you turn around, let me complete reading your card with an award for entrepreneurship for the best student in entrepreneurship. <laughs> Lindelani Dingintlela with an award in operations management for best student in operations management. Michael, you'll wait until I've read your whole card. Michael Eichstadt, with distinction, and an award for economics for the best student in economics, prices, and markets. Congratulations. Mamudike Funde. Go ahead, Mamadike. Thank you. Akani Gordi. Congratulations, Akani. Sumeshni Gavinda. Congratulations, Afika. Afika Hangana. Congratulations, Bridget Estel. <laughs> Congratulations, Lauren Fenton. Erin <laughs> Illich, with distinction and an award for organizational behavior for the best student in organizational behavior. Tolile Jele. Thanks, Tolile. Just waiting for the news. <laughs> Congratulations, Aaron Kangisa. Congratulations, Lerato Kamanyane. <laughs> Congratulations, Debojo Kanyajo. Congratulations, Nompumelele Kumalo. Congratulations, Jacques Kloppers. Congratulations, Jake Kramer. Congratulations, Emma Last. <laughs> Vasima Lombard. <laughs> Kwezi Luvuno. Rumbizai Machapu. Ntogozo Mazala. Manda Makubela.
with distinction, Gerald Mambo. Congratulations. Bwenkotlo Marumo. Tebuho Masindi. Nomvuyo Matole. Nasipi Maegiso. Carol Mbobi. Zintle Mshongo. Simpiwe Mkachwa. I do need your card. Thank you. Siabonga uh, Mlaba. Pumelo Mujapilu. Okay, thank you. So, with distinction and an award for the best student in the syndicate group for the Applied Business Project Award, Lindelwa Mukhanya. Tabiseng Mukoka <laughs> Yes. Okay. When you're ready. Tsepang Mushesh. Mamuraka Mutwahai. Tandugule Msibi. Mbaliente Mtembo. Nogukanya Mtembo. Sabelo Mchali With distinction and an award in strategy in the digital age for the best student with the highest overall mark in which the PDBA students have participated, Abdullah Mullah. I, I, I do need to mention, he also got an award for operations management for best students, and also an award for the marketing award for best students. So let's celebrate him once more. Good luck, Pule. <laughs> Pule Musi. <laughs> Lolwe to Mtenge Ntogozo Mtlovu Hello 
Mashaka no dohe. Ivy Nganga. Mukati Chimama. Niko Ngobeni. Amanda Ngumbe Ngumbela. With an award for information and knowledge management for the best student in information and knowledge management. Congratulations. Pumelelo Ngadimeng. Buisiwe Nyembe. Nonduguzo Parker. Congratulations. Congratulations. Kaylin Pether. Amishka Paul. Kirina Matze Pache Busisiwe Pangiso Stephanie Paul. Zenani Kwanyashe Mankwana Rapala Vutali Ratsitana Mufumi Ricozzo Monique Roja Hombagazi Silepe Kabile Silepe Tiseto Simetsi Sympathy see where Sibeko Edgar Silimela Congratulations. Mati Tisi, Mati Tisi Matthew Strickett. <laughs> Ndumiso Tango. <laughs> Didn't 
Tilede. Morning. Congratulations. Udirile Tubisi. Dylan Tahini. <laughs> Quintius Tladi. <laughs> with an award for the Applied Business Project for the best syndicate group with the highest overall mark in which the PDBA students have participated, Lerumo Tonise. with an award for the best syndicate group with the highest overall mark in which the PDBA students have participated in applied business project, Bridget Chabalal. Marriott Sotezi. Tabeling Sotezi. With an award in the Applied Business Project for the best syndicate group in which the highest overall mark in which PDBA students have participated, Mohamed Valeala. Francois Vandenberg. Martinez van Staden. Victoria Vermeulen. <laughs> Luto Vuso. Kakarane Zengele. <laughs> Takanzwa Chianza. <laughs> Mr. Vice Chancellor, the following candidates have complied with all the requirements for the postgraduate diploma business administration, business studies. We're all nervous, don't worry. Luandisa Mazala. Zara Smith. Mtunase Kali. Valencia Masego. Jacques Ackerman. <laughs> Mr. Vice Chancellor, the following candidates have complied with the requirements for the postgraduate diploma in general management. PG Dip General Management, I'm still announcing, thank you. Apindiwe Begiswa, congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Pumezile, Pumzile Butelez. Ryan Bitensky. Congratulations. 
Rifilwe Chaka. Congratulations. Vikesh Chiba. So I was in a rush. He was an award in research and statistics for the top students overall across modular. part-time streams and full-time streams for the top statistician in class. <laughs> Netsai Chimhandamba. Congratulations. Congratulations. Nkateko Chuma. Congratulations, Jitin Daya. With an award, an applied business project to the highest overall mark across the modular, part-time, and separately for the full-time stream, and with distinction, Lizelle de Swart. Congratulations. Tebucho Duchejo. Lobesutu Zamini. Nomfundo Zamini. Tembagazi Donkrach. Congratulations. Sweet, over here, there we go. Sweetly done. Sweetness Dube. Congratulations. Congratulations. Rendani Zivuho. Matsidiso Gama. Congratulations. Sikumbuzo Gama. Caitlin Givers. Congratulations. Anyone to say good morning, Dean? Craig Goodwin. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Vincent Gotta. <laughs> Tala Goya. <laughs> Congratulations, Loshni Gavinda. Ndumiso Hadebe. Gregory Janse van Rensburg. with an award for human resource strategy for the best student in human resource strategy and with distinction, Brendan Jardine. You will have to bear with me. I need to read a few. <laughs> um, Applied Business Project Award, Human Resource Strategy Award, Macroeconomics National Competitiveness Award, with distinction, and overall top PG Dip General Management Student Award goes to Nandy Jenkinson.
Good luck, Joel. <laughs> Joel John. Ivan Jones. Congratulations. Tanil Jude. Congratulations. Kirshni Kali. Congratulations. Natasha Kapuya. Tabakonke Katabua. Thank you. <laughs> Nyasha Kavumbura. Chikara Kekana. Congratulations. Ditsietsi Keta. Congratulations. Lesibane Khadima. Congratulations. Musima Khaswan. Nsakiseni Kwadi. Sipo Katide. Mwengezi Korombi. Sandile. Kumalo. <laughs> Stephanus Kruyer. <laughs> Novile Kubega. <laughs> Edward. Lambani. Kiza Chiefs. Um, Aristides Lambropoulos. Kaukele <laughs> Libeya. Kucho Lebello. Tato Lelaka. Brendan Levendig and with distinction. Zinzile Lutuli. Butumelo Mabaso. Dorothy Mabuza. Saskia Makraj. Congratulations. Muketwa Madima. Congratulations. Mutupsa Madire.
nonjabulo madungandaba. Esta Mahalo Uratile Mahano Ambuani Mahamba Tato Mahapa Matabate Masachi Ritabile Macacole Olinda Macato Rama Ube Maluma Colani Mancochua Buyambo Mantashi Dumiseni Mapumulo Nonculego Mapagela Sandile Masego. Tembi Masego Tepo Masego Stand here. Very good. Just wait a second. Lebohang Mashishi Tinsualo Masia Congratulations Miriam Matewula Rene Lue Matumulane. Hold on, hold on. Don't move. You're just waiting. If you can just wait a second so they can take the lady with distinction. You can clap for her now. Go ahead. Kulani Mayeyise Andiswa Matutu Look, look there. There we go. Then let me read your name, announce you. Kulegani Mavundla. Londile Mazibugo Namsa this way Namsa Mbauli Wandile 
Mbayega. Great one, Dida. Okay. Well done. Ellis Mbisa. Virginia Mbuli. Sipogazi Menta. Shaul. Look at the camera. Shaul Mayer. Tuso Mshambi. Rachel Misiga. Mzwandile Mkize. Tom Bentley, Ngomezul. Wandile, Wandile, Nguni. Morning, morning. Vuyogazi. Mnigati Kiriboni Mufukeng Pumelo Mujapilu Tiseto Mukwena Neo Mukori with an award for the Applied Business Project. Congratulations. Congratulations. Camera. Kilebuhile. Mulate Mulate Congratulations. Mohammed, let's just wait, Mohammed. Mohammed Musa. Congratulations. Good morning. Please stop for a second. Thank you. Priscilla Mushweshwe. Puseleto Mutaung Susan Mtwining Umbulani Mutwatswana. Lesiko Muela Tendo Mbapele Masako Mpasele Apiwe Mpuma Congratulations 
Brian Msimanga. Zianda Mtetwa. Diana Mtumbini. Ndondeni Mudau. Takalani Mukola. Lina Mukome. Yolandi Myberg. Raisa Nagdi. And with distinction. Sharad Naika. Brennan Naidu. Cameron Naidu. Priyanti Naidu. Simanthini Naidu. Riandra Nair. Penelope Mkiki. Tulani Ndlov. Peggy Ndlov. Ndiakolwa Nzawumbi. Peter Jacques Nell. Nomtandazo Ngobo. Zimasa Ngobozi. Sinentlantla Ngiti. Begisisa Ngobese. Slindogushe Ngubane. Precious Ngambule. Masa Khadima. Itumeleng Nomlomo. Kahisho Nondwangu. Ngadisi Ntulini. Sizwe Ntumba. Ayanda Ngumalo. Morning. Josephet. Ongango Wayndon Perry Welcome to you. 
Manisha Patel. Thank you. Kribadashni Petha. Liam Peterson. Christopher Perumal. <laughs> Nosi Puo Petros. Tongitiko Paleng. Sydney Piri. Londani Pungo. Nilan Pile. Nigel Pile. Matakala Hadebe. Subadra Ragubia. <laughs> Mpo Rakoma Krinaveni Ramya Krishnaveni Ramya <laughs> Tsuniyu Ramla Srinisan Ramlal <laughs> Letabo Ramuroto Mulebucheng Raulane and with distinction. Morning. Tambatsira Ravele. Takalani Sandani. Lisedi Sieko. Sipati. Diego Sinentanta Shandu and with distinction Tabinus Simwa. Fortunate Sitole Cameraman Oliver Sitole um, with an award to the best student with the highest overall mark for the module across modular part time, not done, <laughs> modular part time and full-time stream separately in financial management and accounting, and with distinction, Carl Smith. <laughs> Thanks, Martinez. Guys, in a hurry. Uh, Martinez Smith. <laughs> P. 
Paul Snook. Fumurani Tema. Morning. Troy Teal. Tamarisi Tisane. George Taka. Michael Tlachadi. <laughs> Ronald Tzamba. Busisiwe Shabalal. Nontlantla Shabalal. Daniel Chimanga. With an award in the Applied Business Project, Yolanda Chivizo. Ritsi Lisitswe Tola. Marike van Nieuwkerk. Dirk van Vieren. Ivoda Fenter. Jan Christian Fenter. Elaine Wilson. Amrith with Tana and with an award in marketing for the best student in marketing. Congratulations. Chialing Wu. And with distinction. Sibusisiwe Yaga. Zara Yakub. Kanisa Yozi. Zamangwane Zikali. Lindani Zondi. The masks are a bit of a challenge with the glasses. I now request the dean to introduce to me the candidates receiving the top awards. Mr. Vice Chancellor and Principal, I will now be introducing the awards for the top student in postgraduate diploma in business administration, as well as for the top student postgraduate diploma in general management. I request the following candidates to come to the stage to receive their respective awards. First, for the top student on postgraduate diploma business administration, Shana Van Fieren. Not here. 
uh, Vice Chancellor, I understand she's ill. Let's give her another round of applause. <laughs> the following student we know is here. For this top student on the postgraduate diploma, general management, Nandi Jenkinson. Let us give our graduates a big hand for their hard work and perseverance. I wasn't done yet. <laughs> I would now like to ask our graduates to applaud their families, friends, partners, and spouses for their support over the years. Thank you. It is important to be grateful to those who support you along the journey. We have now come to the end of the proceedings. You are requested to stand for the singing of the national anthem and to remain standing until the assembly has been dissolved and the academic procession has left the auditorium. The words of the national anthem are printed on the inside back cover of the program. Please rise. the powers vested in me, I hereby dissolve this assembly of the University of Pretoria. Please keep standing. Thank you.